Hello, peoples! From the interwebs. We're here today. With another... Not another, actually. The first episode of things that I'm doing with computer craft. And I probably will show you how to do these. Um, first up, you probably can't tell, but here I have the most secure uh, passworded door that I can imagine. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to make it any more secure. So, uh, let's first make a few assumptions. Uh, so the only reason you'd be using a passworded door, unless you have siblings, uh, is if you're on multiplayer. So, first assumption, we're on multiplayer. Second assumption, the server doesn't allow the breaking of blocks. Uh, like, I don't know, like 90% of the servers I've ever been on, uh, they won't, they allow stealing, like, from chests, but not breaking blocks to get into said place where you can steal from their chest. It's always, like, punishable. Anyway, um... <laughs> So, I got quite a few things going on down here. So I guess first off, we'll just uh, demonstrate the door. First, there's a button in here, which will uncover this terminal. Now this terminal is passworded. Password and uh, enter the password if it's right. The door opens. It stays open for 10 seconds. And then it closes. Now, if we get the password wrong... Access denied. And the door did not open. And we can just cover this back up. Boop. Now you're probably thinking, well, what the hell's so special about that? Well, there's a couple things uh, that make this secure as well. One, being uh, Control T doesn't work. Uh, it's the most common one. Control T. Um. If we get a disk drive here, uh, this thing's been outfitted with some crazy stuff. I need drive. Disk drive! Uh, stick that in there. Uh, if we enter an incorrect password and it loops through, uh, it doesn't automatically go to the thing because it doesn't reboot. It's all great. But, here's the big but, uh, you guys know that control R will reboot the terminal. Boop. Now the hacking software that I wrote a while ago, it will go, it will go, indeed. Gotta wait for it. Wait, did I tell it was opening a door? Oh, whoops. My bad. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to open a door. Mm. 
Yay, we get to go through this all over again. <laughs> I want to access the files. Yes. Well, the first thing you notice there is that, uh, that didn't open the door. Ooh. So already sending chills up your spine. Oh. <laughs> You're like, how did this happen? Bam. Now we're in the files. And we go into the startup. And what's this? Le gasp. The password is not here. The password is stored on an authentication server which they're not gonna know where it is but it's like at the top of the map way up there it's actually right above this block Doink. it's up there at the top of the map so this is fun uh oh give me that so first off if they manage to hack this terminal, the password isn't there, and turning on the power, redstone outputs, doesn't open the door. So already you're like, what? Now the door is over there, so, oh, I'm still in here. I'm just control R it. Doink! I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, ten seconds is plenty of time for that. Anyway, um, there's a terminal here wirelessly connected to the system. And, uh, you can't really see its software running. I don't know. Can this one be terminated? Yes, it can. <laughs> now, if they manage to get to here... Password isn't here, either. La. But they won't get to here because they're not allowed to break blocks. Whoa. So you can see there is a, it's a three point system. Whoop. Oh, door's closed. That's okay, I'll just rip out of the wall. <laughs> It's a three-point system, so let's go check out what's going on up there. It's way up here, so that terminal doesn't do anything other than send the password up here that you enter. <laughs> It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Bam. So this is the authentication server. I hope I'm saying that right. Authentication. Yeah, sure why not. Bloop. Now you can see there's some stuff going on up here. Um I think I can terminate this one. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So this script isn't that big either. Basically, uh, there's a while loop. So while this is true, which is always going to be true, uh, it's going to be searching for uh, a receiving thing being sent to it, a redneck connection to it. And when it receives one, then it 
comes down, says there's an incoming thing, sleeps for one second, and verifies it. If uh, the connection message equals the password up here, then uh, then it will send the code to open the door down to the receiving terminal underneath there and then it will send access granted back and if it's not then it will just send access denied to the access terminal Watch out. So I think that is the most secure it can get because uh, well they don't know they don't really know where the door is so they don't really know where to get access to the the uh, part that opens it secondly the actual access terminal is hidden very well but it's not meant to be and the password to the door isn't actually on this terminal so it's pretty secure and if I dig around this you see it has no connections to any redstone which means that it is not connected to that in any way so it can't uh, can't be used to open the door if it's hacked and that should be it yes I think I've explained that enough. I believe. Yeah, we looked at everything. So, uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, that door. That door's fun. Fun to make. So yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, have a nice day, we broke it, <laughs> what did we break? This isn't running. <laughs> so, yeah, it might be a little expensive. Not really. Turtles aren't that hard to make. Neither are the computers, it's just some redstone and some stone and a frickin' glass pane. So yeah, uh, you can find a way to get that turtle to the top of the map. You don't even have to use a turtle, you could have used, uh, just like built up there and used a, uh, another terminal. But I used a turtle because uh, you could potentially script it to move itself to the top of the map. So yeah, anyway, time to actually end the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed.
like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Um, and yeah, have a nice day or night, whichever.